session for Team UMA from the Curious Sagas on 2 0. Manu Penrao, Hammerhead, 1 4, 1 win. I'm a balanced fighter, that's about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, a bit of all rounder. Yeah, I come from a kickboxing background. I think he's Māori and he's got a mohawk. He's had a few, had a few kickboxing matches. I've seen him fight uh, not too long ago, actually, and he hits hard. He likes to bang it out with his hands, eh? So it's definitely going to be a bit of a scrap, I think. I know I've got faster hands than him. Oh, I could definitely see this fight ending in TKO. <laughs> TKO. And let's head to the Mad Butcher tail of the tape. Lewis Ashton, 93 kilos, 22 years of age. He is taller, has a longer reach advantage, 2-0, and, oh, and has some sledgehammers in his hands. Manu Panado, 24. He is 6 foot 1 tall. Much sure on the reach, but certainly stockier built as Panero, the local boy, enters the cage. Yeah, definitely a fan favourite here, Mike. Uh, Manu carries uh, a big fan base here, puts on a great show for the crowd. And we understand he's got an amble in his hands up against Lewis Ashton, who is reputed to have the same. Coming off a couple of knockout victories, and let's head to Perry Kale. Weight division, both fighters are defeated. Therefore, the O has got to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the action begins. Our referee in charge, Mr. Terry Hill. Firstly, to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Kerry Sager from Team UMAF. This man is a freestyle fighter. Official weight, 93 kilograms, even 76 feet 3. Stalking backwards and forwards across the cage, Lewis Ashton. Doesn't look to be quite as good a nick as Panidao, the more stocky of the two, but probably the better condition. Once again, we're left in no doubt, Howie, as to who the favourite for the evening will be. No, absolutely. Manu has, will have a big fan base here right now. You're going to see a nice clash of styles here with regarding uh, Lewis Ashton. LJ, as they call him, he's uh, coming off two wins, two decisive wins, so he's going to have, his confidence is going to be up. But the Brighton Basher there with his big fan base had a great uh, performance on the last Hammerhead show, and uh, he'll definitely want to capitalise on, capitalise on that and keep this momentum going. You have a quick look at the tree trunk legs of Panero as referee Terry Hill brings the two fighters together. Ashton versus Panero. You understand, gentlemen? It's better work. Oh, let's take a look at how the stand up shapes up. There's the lovely Ayla showing us this round one coming up. Yep, we're a bit slow sometimes, so we need help. Ashton starting with a spinning kick. Not happy with those hands that low, though. No, it's definitely a contrast of uh, styles right there, isn't there, Mike? What I'm actually concerned about is not so much that he has the hands low outside of range, it's as he's entering, he's really leaving the door open for exactly that, a big overhand right. He's not leading in with his hands, he doesn't have that chin down, and he eats a left leg, a right leg low kick for his trouble. Perhaps a bit too much confidence. Oh, there's there a big right hand! A big right hand and the left hook! And he smells blood, and it's over early. The local boy, Panero, and boy, has the muggle come out. He is happy. The Brighton Basher strikes again. Big right hand followed by the left hook, and then hulking out on the cage. No doubt who won that. Well, and Panero won the square dancing competition afterwards <laughs> as well. Ashton still doesn't really know where he is. He got hit and hit hard. Too much chin, too little hands, too low. Overhand right, left hook. Good night, Irene! It's all over there, isn't it, Mike? Good finish there from Manu, right on the cage there. No need for uh, Terry Hill to stop that fight. That was well and truly over. Well, that replay brought to you by supplementme.co.nz. And, well, there's not much more you could say. Referee Terry Hill on the money, stopping that bout before any more damage. And a and very uh, happy coach there, Matt Tarr. There Matt Manu. Tarr, I don't think I've seen him quite as twinkle toed before. <laughs> he was a happy man. Why do you see him at the after party? 39 seconds into the first round. Well, the local crowd, their thirst for blood has been satisfied by the local boy, Manu Panado. Very explosive finish to that fight. Manu, wow.
That was an exclamation point. Now two fights for two wins. We did say both fighters were undefeated, therefore the O has got to go. Congratulations. Cheers, mate. Uh, real stoked about that, eh? Um, Lewis, thank you very much for the fight, mate. Uh, nice guy. We had a... Cheers, bro. Yeah. I have a question for you. Given the fact is, obviously, what was leading into the fight, he had a little bit more fight experience than yourself. Probably the first 25 seconds you were countering, waiting for that opening. Yeah. Give us what happened in that knockout, given about five or seven seconds. You rocked him. Give us your thoughts about the last 15 seconds, how you actually took him down. Um, I've actually seen Lewis fight before, and oh, the last 30 40 hit pretty hard. He, he, I know he's got heaps of power in his hands. So um, it was pretty simple for us, just straight down the pipes, beat him to the punch, which I think happened, and uh, stunned him and finished him off in the corner. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, your man with a W with a devastating knockout, Manu Panero! Well, Panero must be happy. Ashton learned a harsh lesson. You have to keep your hands up, particularly on defence. A lot of inexperience shown, and didn't really have any chance to regain his composure as referee Terry Hill stopped the bout. Oh, that was the first of four bouts on the latter part of the card this evening. Next up is a clash featuring Mike Pascoe versus Jason the Animal Smith. Stay tuned.